Today, the lowest recorded interest rate on a mortgage in Uganda is 22% as of September 2016 and requires at least a 30% down payment. And to low income earners, this is a pure dream. You are giving a mortgage to somebody who doesn't have an, an income. The previous incomes they had were brewing local brews and the like. Here are smart houses where they can't do such an, a business in the, in the new houses. Wouldn't, they would be spoiled. So as we think about affordability, I'm glad the minister mentioned it also. We have to look at income. Housing sectors that move economies thrive on scale and not piecemeal approaches that characterizes today's real estate developers. Everybody along the housing value chain does not work in silos. Uh, we need to have developers working together with researchers and financiers and on our side at the end of providing uh, liquidity for home in home buyers but at the same time for providing financing for developers that can build up to scale. Now as you've heard that presupposes that it's absolutely critical that the nature of our developers can grow uh, to the extent that they can increase scale and be, be able to move from building 10, 20 units to 1,000, 2,000 units where the affordability can come in through the economies of scale. I'm giving now another challenge to my engineers and entrepreneurs in this room. Let's try to form companies and we shall help as best as we can for you to take charge and construct, do the construction and get this money and keep much of that money in the economy. Now, much of it is going out. Available statistics in Kit that the cheapest newly built house in Uganda is over 100 million shillings for a 100 square meter unit. This appears still out of reach for an average Ugandan saver with non-mortgage credit and thus pure desire for profits cannot support affordable housing. If we choose a seven and a half thousand dollar house and if we can achieve that and we've seen that in Nigeria it's been built and in some other countries as well um, there is a significant proportion of the population that earns an income that would be able to access finance to purchase that house. Um, however, as, as was spoken about this morning by one of our speakers, uh, the margin that you can achieve to deliver affordable housing is quite narrow, which means there's very little space for error. Co-hosted by the African Union Housing Finance and Housing Finance Bank Uganda, the conference will conclude with a Kampala declaration to be signed by the members of the African Union for Housing Finance, setting out key issues for attention to engage the housing value chain for growth across the African continent.